What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and man oh man is there a lot going on with stimulus right now. This is not going to be done on a bipartisan basis. This is going to be a hell of a fight over what this country ought to look like in the future. I don't think we've had a bigger difference of opinion between the two parties over the best thing to do for America than we have right now. This is your stimulus check update and your stimulus package update. Now, we're going to be taking a look at a ton of video footage in today's video, but before we dive in, I'm just going to summarize everything for you. Pretty much we've got the Problem Solvers Caucus working on a bipartisan bill, and we've got Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell all battling and fighting for how stimulus and infrastructure should get passed, and it seems like nobody can agree on anything. Now, I know that this is all gonna seem like a giant hot mess and nobody's gonna ever uh, pass anything, but I just wanna encourage you that this is all good because it's putting attention on stimulus and infrastructure and us getting closer to passing something here. And we've already heard from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer that they wanna have both potential ways to get this passed ready in the month of July, and that would be through a bipartisan bill and also reconciliation. And they wanna have both of these ready, they said preferably within the next seven days by next week. So there is a lot happening right now. We've heard confirmation from this from the White House as well as we heard from Press Secretary Jen Psaki. Now, just to recap, before we dive into this video footage and I share with you what we're hearing from the Problem Solvers Caucus, uh, there is two parts to this infrastructure bill. Now the first part is what you normally think of when you hear of infrastructure, they're calling it traditional physical infrastructure, roads, bridges, highways, things like that. Now the second portion is what they're calling human infrastructure. It's pretty much another stimulus package. It's gonna be putting money into people's pockets. Now this is where we could potentially see stimulus checks, more SSI, more SSDI provisions for people. Now currently, those are not in there, but there's a lot of proposals floating around Congress to get them in. It currently does have an extension of the child tax credit, free college tuition, and free childcare, and similar provisions like that. We're gonna see what makes it in, and we're gonna see how this is passed. Now there's two ways, as I mentioned, and the first is through a massive reconciliation package, which we've heard Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer say he's getting ready because he thinks that's the only way, taking traditional and human infrastructure, putting them together into what they're saying will be a $6 trillion stimulus package, and then Democrats coming together and passing this through Congress with the majority vote. Now, the problem with that is that that is a huge number, and we've heard people like Senator Joe Manchin say, uh, he's not sure if he's gonna agree with that, they might need to bring it down, because that's a lot of spending. Now, the second way, is what we're gonna be looking at today is if that bipartisan group of lawmakers can come together and pass the first portion through a bipartisan bill, then they'll take the second portion and pass that through reconciliation and the overall price tag for that reconciliation bill will look significantly smaller and it'll be a little bit easier for uh, lawmakers like Senator Joe Manchin to agree on the overall price tag. So we're gonna see, but like I said, I'm gonna share with you all this video footage because this is all happening right now. There's a lot unfolding and we're gonna dive right in. And before we do though, if you like and appreciate these updates, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second. Don't forget, smash that like button, leave your comments and share this out if you think it's gonna help out other people. And if this is your first time here and you wanna stay up to date, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. And if you got any specific questions for me, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. And if you missed my other video that I did earlier today, in one week, we're gonna be seeing the first child tax credit monthly checks hitting accounts. And make sure that you've got everything ready for that. Check out that video where I get you caught up on the latest on that. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive into this video footage and let's take a look at what the Problem Solvers Caucus has to say about them passing a bipartisan bill. And we're gonna hear from Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Congressman Fitzpatrick, let me start with the basic question. Have all 29 Republicans in your caucus agreed to vote yes if it reaches the floor? Yeah, thanks for having us, Chris. Um, we, we endorse the package, so our caucus rules are that if um, if 75% uh, of the overall caucus agrees and 50% of each party's members agree, we agree to stand together as a block. Now, we endorsed this go around. We actually had our own plan, the Building Bridges plan, which we endorsed, and that was a substantive framework that we came up with. And what we just endorsed is a statement uh, of support of the Senate plan for a standalone vote, and that's the key here. That's what we want. Uh, the bill should be 
uh, up or down voted based on its own merits. No strings attached. But as you know, Congressman Gottheimer, Speaker Pelosi said she wouldn't put anything on the floor until the Senate passes both bills. I mean, if you get Republicans, obviously you could lose some Democrats. But it's kind of a risky strategy, I think, on both sides. And I wonder if you've had conversations with Speaker Pelosi about it. Uh, well, listen, thank you so much for having me, first of all. And, and uh, it's great to be here with Brian. You know, you have something that's very rare here. Democrats and Republicans in both the House, the House and the Senate actually coming together and agreeing on something. And there's nothing right now more pressing than fixing our nation's infrastructure. So what I believe, and members of the caucus uh, endorsed yesterday, is let's get together, let's get a vote on this package, this bipartisan infrastructure package that the White House has backed and, and frankly, that we've been working together now for months on. And of course, it doesn't prevent us from doing something further down the road on another package, but we've got great momentum here. The country needs thick roads, bridges, rail, uh, tunnels, water infrastructure, get energy, uh, clean energy going. This is a great chance to get that done. And I believe we can get it done. So I, I'm, I believe we should get a standalone vote. But back to the back to the question, which is, have you had a conversation with Nancy Pelosi? Could she derail this? Well, of course, I'm, I'm always in touch with the speaker and let her know that we are working on this. And, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll leave it to you to talk to her. Um, but I'll, I'll tell you this. You know, you've got Democrats and Republicans here who are speaking pretty clearly together that this is something that we can get done. And again, this is rare. We've been working on this, as Brian said, with our Senate colleagues, Democrats and Republicans for months now. Uh, we were able to get to an agreement. You saw that President Biden said we should get a bipartisan package done. So I think ultimately, if that's where we get to, uh, we should get a vote done. And, and I believe we can get it to the floor and we should get it to the floor. So, Congressman Fitzpatrick, let me dig a little deeper on this standalone vote. Key to the separate proposal, what some people are calling the sec second proposal, is expanding child care, fighting climate change. Is there no support in your party for either of those things? Of course, Chris. I mean, we, we support those concepts. The question is, what is in the final bill? What does it look like? And is it um, a product of bipartisan input? Uh, our caucus stands for very is something very simple, Chris. That is, we believe in two party solutions. We don't think that one party has a monopoly on good ideas, just like our families operate, our personal relationships operate, our businesses function. Um, it's the normal common sense way America wants us to govern. Um, so do we support child care? Do we support um, you know, protecting our environment, of course. I was one of two Republicans, Chris, that just supported uh, the House Transportation and Infrastructure Bill that was put on the floor. Uh, I support those, both of those concepts very much. But what we're here to, to announce today is we have a bipartisan agreement in the House and the Senate that the White House supports that should get an up or down vote. This is common sense and this is what the American people want. But when it may be what the American people want, but when you listen to the leaders of both parties, they sound pretty entrenched. Let me play for you something Mitch McConnell just said. This is not going to be done on a bipartisan basis. This is going to be a hell of a fight over what this country ought to look like in the future. I don't think we've had a bigger difference of opinion between the two parties over the best thing to do for America than we have right now. So there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as we heard from the Problem Solvers Caucus that's working on that first portion of the infrastructure bill to see if they can pass that with a bipartisan agreement. However, we also heard from Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell who said that uh, they're not gonna be supporting anything from them and that Democrats will have to pass it through reconciliation because uh, if we're gonna be getting money, it's not gonna be from them. And we actually heard criticism from Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi for his statements as she said, he voted no, but still took the dough. And also, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi said that if they want to pass that bipartisan bill, that they also need to have ready stimulus for people in that second portion of the infrastructure bill. And she said that if they bring her just that first portion without the second portion, she's going to let it die in the House. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. She's kind of enforcing they need to get stimulus for people ready. Now, we also saw this article come out on her criticisms of Mitch McConnell. Take a look. It says, Nancy Pelosi rips Mitch McConnell for touting stimulus aid for Kentucky. He voted no and took the dough. And it says, I didn't vote for it, but you're going to get a lot of money, says McConnell, to lawmakers. Now, some Republicans have touted parts of the law in recent months, even though none voted for it. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi slammed Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell for touting the benefits of the stimulus law for his home state of Kentucky. 
the $1.9 trillion pandemic relief bill cleared Congress in March without any Republican support. Vote no and take the dough, Pelosi wrote on Twitter. At an event in Kentucky on Tuesday, McConnell swung between noting his opposition for the federal rescue package and crediting it with providing substantial financial relief for Kentucky. Not a single member of the party voted for it, so you're going to get a lot more money, said McConnell, and I didn't vote for it, but you're going to get a lot more money. Cities and counties in Kentucky will get close to 700 to 800 million dollars. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I think this is a very interesting statement. He's saying, I didn't do this for you, but you're going to get a lot of money. And they're saying, we're not going to support any of this, but you're going to get a lot of money coming. And uh, we know that this is because they feel like we should not be adding to the debt. We should not be just creating all of this money and sending it out. We're already seeing issues with some inflation and they're saying this is too much debt, too much money. This is not necessary. Uh, the conservative opinion is that we're pretty much coming to an end here and we need to encourage people to get back to normal, get back to the workforce and not be just printing out more and more money. Now, on the other hand, we're hearing other people, more of the uh, democratic uh, progressive opinions, liberal opinions is that um, this is still going on. We need to provide more stimulus to help people as we have a slow end to this pandemic and we still need to provide more stimulus and they're not as concerned with inflation. They're more concerned with providing aid to people at this time. So those are the two opposing opinions right now. So uh, McConnell's letting us know that you're going to be getting money, but he's noting it's not from me, but you will be getting it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But like I said, this, in my opinion, is all good because they're going to be pushing something through here. This is all pushing us closer and closer to our end goal. And whatever provisions are included, know that I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date here on the channel and let you know what's going to be unfolding and what's going to be coming our way. And once again, you guys, if you like and appreciate that, don't forget, smash the like button. Thank you so much for joining me today in this video. And if this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date on all these topics, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, follow me on Instagram at steveram3. And if you want to get some free stocks and cryptos, use the links in the description below. And if you want to see what stocks or cryptos I'm trading in real time, consider joining that Patreon group as well. And with that being said, you guys, I hope this reaches you well. Hope you have a blessed Thursday. I'll catch you in the next video, Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.